The Ashes of Creation monthly livestream is less than a week away. And although we have thought we knew what we were going to see for a while now, we were completely wrong. Originally, a lot of us assumed Carfin was going to be a dungeon walkthrough, which was shot down very shortly after that tease. Then I assumed that it'd be some sort of tour of the lands type deal showing off the ruins and maybe giving us a bit of the structure of the dungeon and how it works. Well, that once again appears to be wrong. Intrepid even crushed my dreams a tiny bit more after they said in the stream announcement that we will be only getting a brief look at Carfin in next week's stream, which was not at all what I was hoping for. But now we know the details on exactly what to expect because creative director Stephen Sharif was back at it today with the leaks and revealed that next week's showcase will reveal the functionality around our story arc system including real-time sequencing and zone transitions for points of interest in world events we will discuss in detail with our narrative team how these work in concert with creating a world that reacts to the player and now, this one could be pretty exciting. People have been wanting to see more systems coming together like what we got with the Season Showcase and Gathering last year, and now it sounds like we are gonna get even more of this in something that really ties into the world and how exactly story arcs will work, which were teased in the Questing UI last month. Seeing zone transitions and sequencing for points of interest in world events will be pretty huge too because most of this ties into the node system and how the world will continue to evolve with the player. Steven gave some more tidbits on the specifics of how points of interest like this will be affected, which may or may not be new information to you, but dungeons will be fairly adaptive to node progression in the area, which with node progression comes new areas of dungeons unlocked. But bigger points of interest such as Carfin aren't tied to just one node's progression and multiple multiple nodes will have the ability to influence larger points of interest like this. This stream just went from something that I was not really excited for after learning it wasn't a dungeon showcase into something that I am extremely pumped for. Seeing major systems in the game functioning is a huge win on streams and gives us a glimpse of seeing the world finally coming together. But, Steven did not confirm how this will be showcased. It could be a stream like the UI showcase we got last month, where it's just Steven, Maggie, and a few of the devs talking and showing some of the things they're working on and showing how it works, but not actually functioning in-game. Or they could be showing it functioning within the world as Steven and crew are running around this area, which obviously is one that I'd prefer seeing, as seeing something actually functioning compared to the devs showing work in progress and renders would give me a whole different level of hype to carry through to next month. But the fact that we were only seeing a brief bit of Carfin and a whole bunch of that other stuff makes me think that it's probably not going to be something showing devs actually running around and playing the game this time around. But speaking of carrying hype into next month, we now know what April and May's live streams will include as well, which will in fact be the Cyclops world boss that has been teased for months now and the mage class archetype. Steven just isn't so sure which order it's going to happen in yet, but is leaning more towards the mage in April and the Cyclops in May, both which are very exciting. We haven't seen the mage archetype since the Alpha 1 server shut down, and I'm very interested to see how this has changed since then, as this is the class that I spent the most time with during Alpha 1, and I really want to see how they will feel with the updated combat system. The Cyclops boss though is a whole different level of hype as it will be our very first Alpha 2 boss fight in the game. The Cyclops is this massive being that roams the Riverland towering over trees, really getting players to want to move out of the way when he shows up. I imagine it'll be something similar to the Fell Reaver in the Burning Crusade, but with better loot. And if they do showcase the Cyclops after the mage reveal, then there is 5 out of the 8 class archetypes ready to take on this guy, giving us a whole bunch more of class synergy and all that. Although chances of seeing a full raid party embark on this I imagine are pretty low, but it will still give us a good look at the mechanics and boss designs that Intrepid is working on. Are you excited for the Carfin reveal in the March livestream? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.